the M1 carbine, the world's favorite mutt gun. Created by multiple engineers who drew from many different firearm designs and manufactured by a diverse set of unlikely companies ranging from GM Motors and IBM all the way to a jukebox company, this little gun is the mutt who eventually became its own breed. Originally known as the United States Carbine Caliber 30 M1, we can thank whoever shortened the name to the M1 Carbine. But this is no traditional carbine. Most carbines are just a smaller version of a larger parent rifle, so it would follow suit that the M1 Carbine might be a smaller version of a rifle like the M1 Garand. But instead, the M1 Carbine is an amalgam of designs and minds. More than seven Winchester engineers infused this carbine with a little dash of the Winchester 1905 rifle, a little pinch of the M1 Garand, and a sprinkle of the 30 caliber M2 Browning rifle prototype, just to name a few. And while it hints at the multiple firearm bloodlines it draws from, it truly is a standalone breed. The M1 carbine and its variants were the most heavily produced family of U.S. military weapons for several decades. Over 6.5 million of them were produced in World War II alone, and every branch of the U.S. Armed Forces utilized this gun. Coming into the battle scene in 1942, the M1 carbine was created as a direct solution to a life-threatening problem. During World War II, German paratroopers fell from the sky, far behind the protective front lines. Support and specialized troops were faced with sudden enemy skirmishes. They found their sidearms weren't enough, but lugging around full-size rifles for rare but deadly skirmishes wasn't practical either. Enter the M1 carbine. The happy medium between a full-size rifle and a sidearm. While the 30 carbine cartridge was a good step up from the 45 ACP found in most sidearms of the day, it didn't compare to the 30-06 of the M1 Garand or similar full rifles. Nevertheless, the gun was cheap to produce, and the military dispersed the gun in many different areas, including frontline troops, something the gun was never intended for, to the rebuttal of mixed reviews. But where it really shone was in special operations, jungle and mountain combat, and ambush operations all over the world. At about five to six pounds, depending on attachments, and an overall length of around 35 inches, this rifle found its way into many jungle and mountain combats, where steep and thick terrain ruled. Merrill's Marauders, the famous group of soldiers that traversed more jungle on their missions behind Japanese lines than any other U.S. military group in World War II, sung its praises. The non-corrosive primers for the 30 carbine cartridge, the first use of its kind on a large scale, was especially useful against the usual barrel corrosion problems faced in humid climates. It made its way into the hands of war hero Audie Murphy, as well as being immortalized in the hands of the soldiers raising the flag in the Iwo Jima Memorial. After many conflicts beyond World War II, including the Korean and Vietnam War, and generous distribution to U.S. allies, they were sold to the U.S. civilian market. Hobbyists, collectors, and competition shooters alike snatched up these carbines like sun-powdered flavored candy. 
But what place does the M1 carbine have today? Besides in pop culture movies like Saving Private Ryan, Jaws, and Indiana Jones. Well, along with being a decent ranch and hunting rifle for small game and varmints, it's a decent training gun. This gun is favored by small statured people, especially women and youth, and is a stepping stone between a 22 caliber and higher calibers like the 30 6 So it's a nice trainer rifle, assuming you can find one of the better shooters. But with the prevalence of avid collector groups, newer ammunition, and even some replica companies reviving the genre, there are still plenty of places to look. With every branch of the US military utilizing it for decades, the civilian marksmanship program using it for generations of training new shooters, and its influences on many firearm designs in use today, the M1 carbines earned a 70 plus year pedigree to make it a globally recognized thoroughbred.